right. Um, so I'm just going to talk a little bit about my raids and how I'm not really 100% thrilled with them. So first things first, um, the weather has been really out of control lately in Massachusetts. Not lately, all the time, but it's been really humid. And um, no matter what I was doing with my hair, no matter what twist outs, braid outs, natural, you know, wash and go, no matter what I did within hours, like by the end of the day, my like perfect coils just became like, poof, like poof, 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 everywhere. It was just like, just became so tangled and it was just so humid that everything was exploding. And I became the girl who I didn't want to be with the gross natural hair who didn't know how to take care of it. And I, I couldn't be having that. So. I decided to get micro braids because no matter what, they basically stay the same. So I call around, I go on Yelp, I find what looks like a good salon in Boston. I don't really know many in the area. And I tell them I want micro braids, teeny tiny. They come they they tell me to come in for a consultation. I go in, they have me point in a book to the look that I want, even though I mean it's self explanatory, micro braids. Tiny, tiny micro braids. They make me go through books and find a girl who has micro braids. So um, I asked them how much hair should I buy, what size, you know, different salons have different ideas about what they're going to work with. They tell me 20 inches. They go, oh, is that your real hair? Yes, this is my real hair that I had, curly fro. 20 inches. So I go next door to the hair store, buy 20 inches of hair, I bring it in. And the woman starts doing my hair. Within the first couple of braids, she starts complaining that the hair I bought was too short. I should have bought 22 to 24 inches. She didn't know my hair was as long as it was. That's the same woman who told me to buy 20 inches, who looked at my hair. Maybe she should have had me, you know, show her how long my natural hair was. I mean, that's not my problem. That's not my fault. That's why I came in for the consultation. That's why I drove to the salon a week in advance so that she could look at my hair and tell me what to buy. I'm not a braiding expert. She is. Um, so then also, um, she was making them bigger than how I wanted. They're bigger than what I had originally asked for and what I'd agreed to pay for. And the last problem is about like a third of the way through my head. I noticed she wasn't tying my hair into knots, you know, like to finish off the braid. Rather, she was using super glue in the hair, which I've always found to be sloppy and lazy. And I stopped her and I was like, oh, I was trying to be polite about it. I was like, oh, you're using glue in my hair. She's like, oh, no, no, not your hair. I braided it a little bit extra so I could glue it. I was like, oh, okay. So how am I supposed to wash that? She was like, oh, just come in and we'll wash it for you. I'm not gonna pay for you guys to wash my hair. Uh, that's not. It's not gonna happen. So that's kind of uncomfortable because I. It was too late at that point to be like, no, I'm leaving. Ugh. And also, um, I guess the last problem I had. This is just like my personal problem. The woman who was braiding my hair was pregnant, and. Um, she was really pregnant, like, she was like 11 months pregnant, like, she should have had that baby, like, her stomach was, like, out of control, she looked like a spider, and I am just a weird, I think I'm just weird, I don't like being around pregnant people, I don't like thinking about what is in there, the little baby, like, curled up waiting to come out of your birth canal, like, that stuff makes me really uncomfortable, so, the whole time she was doing my hair, her stomach was pressing against me here. It was pressing on my chest in front. It was pressing on my side. It was like resting on my arm. And like her poor unborn child was like practically on top of me. And I was like waiting for her to go into labor at any moment. I was like, this woman's water is gonna break all over me. And also on that note, she, she would like stop every couple of minutes and like, oh, my back. Oh, my back. Oh, I was like, why are you here? Why are you working? That's what this job requires of you, for you to sit for hours at a time and, and, and do this. If you're too pregnant, please don't come in and don't waste my time and my money. And um, 
So I was getting annoyed. And also, she's complaining about how long my hair was. It's not even that long. It's like maybe 10 inches long. And she was like, oh, your hair is so long. Oh, your hair is so long. Woman, I came in. You saw my hair. Why are you acting like, surprise, I have way more hair than you thought. Like, you saw it. You know. You should know better. And um, I guess last but not least, um, we see that growth. We see, like, this growth around here. Well, you wonder how long I've had them in? I feel like it looks like I've had them in for a couple of weeks now, like three or so weeks. I've had them in for a week and two days, and when I left the salon, they looked like this. They looked almost exactly like this when I left the salon a week ago. All, all my roots were out already. Um, the point of the style is to wear it for a couple of months, at least. So, she didn't even do a good job of like keeping them close to my scalp. Like, I know good braids. I know that when I leave a salon and I can't like close my eyes and my head is killing me, that's a little too tight, but those are tight braids. I know what tight braids feel like. I've gotten my hair braided many times before. This woman was just being lazy the whole time. And, um, she kept talking about how pregnant she was, and at the very end, she, she like, guilt-tripped me into tipping her more than... I was almost not going to tip her, period. Of course, you know, I tip, but she was just doing such a bad job, and at the very end, she was just like, Oh, my back! Oh, your hair is so long! So I was like, fine, fine, here's 20. Get out of my face. Never come back here again. So, I just want, like, you guys' opinion. Uh, was that a good service? complaining about how long your client's hair is, giving them the wrong length to buy, um, putting glue in their hair, and finally just being lazy about it, not even doing it close to the scalp. Like, what's your opinion? What would you have done in that situation? Because sometimes I find myself getting walked all over. So um, that's that. And tomorrow I'll have a video about how to do these awesome Bantu knots to get a lot of wave. Not this kind of wave, better wave. Good mm, waves for days. Alright, so that's that. Thank you for watching. Uh.